Hello Capricorn! Welcome to your general reading. Um, a little bit about myself, if this is your first time here, I do uh, timeless general readings, which means that they may or may not resonate with you, um, because this is, you know, for the collective of Capricorn. Um, and it's timeless, so, you know, ideally you're supposed to stumble across this video when you're meant to. Alright? So generally, I take a holistic approach and I just shuffle a bunch of cards and see what kind of story comes up. And hopefully, I can gain some kind of insight and some and um, retrieve some kind of advice for you. Okay. All right, let's get started, Capricorn. Um, if you're curious what cards I'm using for this, I'm um, reading. I'm gonna include that information in the description box below. And if you're interested in a personal reading, um, the information will be down there as well. All right, Capricorn, Capricorn, Capricorn. Um, when I, right before I started this, I kept getting, you know, the word blockage, right? I feel like there's some kind of blockage going on with you, Capricorn. What is going on? But for some reason, I also wanted to, I ha suddenly had the urge to, like, sing, if that resonates with you. Like, I just wanted to sing. Interesting. All right. <clears throat> Universe, spirits, and guides. What's going on with Capricorn? I'm pulling a spirit animal oracle card for your um, current energy, okay? I try to focus on the current energy. What is going on with Capricorn, universe? Speak to me. What's going on with Capricorn? Ooh, a lot. A lot is going on with Capricorn. Ooh. What's going on with Capricorn, universe? Give me one card. Don't you do it. Don't you give me two. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Stag spirit, take the lead. <clears throat> Who had this earlier? Virgo had this card earlier. I think, let me, let me, oh, interesting. Look, that's the picture that's on the, the cover. Mm. Let me see what this card means because I get an idea, but I, last time when I looked at this card, it had something to do with career, but t today I'm getting a vibe of like, this is, this is in, in regards to your life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, whether or not you have set your intention to lead, you may have found yourself suddenly called to step up to the forefront of your life. Mm -hmm. Stag spirit is a reminder that now is a time to heed the call to be sure, strong, and compassionate. Others will look to you, and you have you have it within you to see through the eyes of stag spirit and walk with confidence as you take on the responsibilities that are yours now and model integrity in all that you do and in all your relationships. Be willing to see the best in, in others so that your companion, compassionate heart keeps you on the right path. Stag Spirit wants you to know that your responsibilities now are to yourself too, for you are learning and developing new skills. The best in you is coming into view as you step forward with strength, knowing that Spirit supports you as you compassionately take the lead. You are a model for transformation now, sharing your experience, strength, and hope with others so they may grow and discover their best selves too. What a gift you are. Stay humble and authentic and walk your talk for this is how a wise leader leads. <clears throat> very, very interesting Capricorn. And look, it you know, doesn't isn't that rep um, resemblant of a, of a Capricorn, right? With the horns, no? This is just like it telling me that you are taking control of your life and you are recognizing what what you need to do for yourself. Mm -hmm. Very powerful. 
All right, Capricorn, for your main spread, <clears throat> I'm gonna do the Modern Witch Tarot deck. I love the I love these cards. Strength in reverse. Remember how this card talked about, you know, having strength and confidence to move forward. I feel like you're lacking that, Capricorn. All right, so universe spirits and guides, what's going on with Capricorn? Can we clarify this energy, this stag spirit energy? What's going on with Capricorn? One more shuffle. Alright. What's going on with Capricorn? Knight of Swords in reverse. It's all, I, it's like this um the, so the Knight of Swords talks about things moving in swiftly, right? Things happening fast. And when it's in reverse like that, it's like, I get a very stagnant energy. Ha, stag, stagnant energy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, there's an opportunity here that, um, that you really w have been wishing for. With the Ace of Pentacles and the Nine of Cups, <sighs> there's an opportunity here that is gonna fulfill. Um, that's gonna. That's gonna make you feel happy. Like it's it's. I don't know if it's your perception of this opportunity, or if it's actually like the opportunity is gonna bring you joy. Um, <clears throat> But let's continue. Let's see what's going on with Capricorn. Yeah, look, this opportunity makes you happy. Like when you think about this opportunity, it's like what you've been wanting, what you, it's like with the stag spirit, you, you are learning about what you have to offer, not only to yourself, but to the world, right? And it's like, you're coming to that realization of what it is and you know it makes you happy wow let's keep going capricorn this is a, this is a good read so far so far who knows this story could take a turn <laughs> then you got the page of swords in reverse So it's so with the page of swords in reverse that could talk about like setbacks or delays. It could also talk about um, things not being clear to you. It could talk about um, I want to say messages not being received. Let's keep going. So yeah, you're like, it's like this opportunity is a golden opportunity, but you can't, you can't um, really see how it's going to manifest because things aren't progressing for you the way that you want. Then you got the five of swords in reverse. So it's like someone you feel betrayed by someone or something like you feel like something was taken from you unfairly mm. like disappointed almost that's kind of the vibe i'm getting Whew. let's continue nine of swords in reverse you losing sleep over this Wow, Capricorn, what hurts you? It's like Nine of Swords talks about fear and it talks about paranoia. It talks about not being able to sleep, right? And it's all it's all in your in your head. 
Look, five of cups. Like, either you can't see the bright side to this or you're beginning to see the bright side. <clears throat> yeah, with the sun. It's like you're beginning to see the, the bright side of this. I don't know. Let's keep going. <sighs> Capricorn, universe. What messages do we have about Capricorn? Capricorn. America. Fuck yeah. I don't know why that song popped in my head. Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, it's almost like... <clears throat> I want to say you stumbled across this opportunity here. And... I feel like... Oh, no, no, let's keep going. Let's keep going before I say anything. It's because there's there's a mix there's mixed emotions here. The star. There's something that you wished for. This is something that you manifested. What else for Capricorn? Mm-hmm. Judgment. That's like the Holy Grail, you know? Then you got Queen of Swords in reverse. So you've been, you've been kind of, um, <clears throat> I want to say cutty. That's the, that's the term that's coming into my mind. Like you've been very like <sighs> decisive, cutty. You're cutting people down. The Empress in reverse. Things haven't, like like I said before, things haven't progressed the way that you envisioned. And this could also be talking about like you um, not not feeling in power, not not feeling like you're in your power. Feminine energy here. So the Knight of Pentacles in reverse talks about someone holding on to an opportunity. Six of Swords in reverse, choosing to stay stuck. Choosing to stay stuck. That's your energy, Capricorn. Mm. What else is going on? There's like mixed mixed emotions because on one side <clears throat> on one side of the scale you got something that's going to make you happy and on the other side you got something that's kind of that you feel torn about look queen of pentacles you're focusing on your money you're focusing on stability could this be someone that you're dealing with Someone that is stable, someone that you could be a business partner, could, could just be a partner. Let's keep going. But I get the sense that that's you, like you're working on improving yourself, you're working on your home life, You've, you got animals to take care of, but you see how she got a rabbit? And that, that rabbit has a carrot. See? Oh no, that's just her dress, my bad. <laughs> that looked like a carrot. I was like, oh, that's so nice of her. She gave the rabbit a carrot. No, she's greedy as fuck. <laughs> All right, what's going on with Capricorn? Come on, let's finish the story. The chariot. I get this feeling like you're having trouble deciding to move forward. Mm -hmm. The hanged one. 
You're trying to find a different perspective. And then the King of Cups, this is someone else's energy. So take it as it resonates, but <clears throat> now, it's interesting. Because, here, let me finish one more card. Let me, because the King of Cups, there's someone here. Six of Cups in reverse. Yep, someone that you have history with. It's on the bottom of the deck. King of Pentacles. That's also someone else. So this person is the one on your mind. This is the one that you're torn about because this person offers stability. Look. This is the person that the Queen of Pentacles is married to. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's becoming clear. But the opportunity is with this King of Cups. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Capricorn. This is going to be a Capricorn in love. It's like if it's like you're taking the time to focus on yourself and stuff like that, and you're not trying to let anything affect you. You're not trying to be bothered. Cause these two, like, they were like this. It's like you're taking time. You're like not even paying attention to this person. But there's an opportunity with this person. It's like, or, you know, this could. This could be like a cell phone or something and she's looking she's looking in the cell phone yeah that's why the page of swords is here because you've been keeping tabs on this person this king of king of cups mm-hmm mm -hmm. capricorn we got a we got what i call a sticky situation here all right, let's clarify. <clears throat> I want to clarify with the Muse Tarot deck. Ten of Materials, Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, there's abundance. It's like I get the feeling that you like you do have abundance. but you don't see it. Or it could be that there is abundance with this opportunity with this other person. All right, let's clarify some things, Capricorn. Universe, spirits, and guides. What do we want to clarify? Hmm? Let's clarify the Ace of Pentacles. Why is the Ace of Pentacles here? Capricorn, we at 19 minutes, okay. Why is the Ace of Pentacles here for Capricorn? Five of Inspiration, you feel very conflicted about this opportunity. What else, two more. I'm getting this feeling that you're married and you want to be with someone else. You want to take this opportunity with someone else. Yep. The world cosmos in reverse. There's distance here. There's separation. <clears throat> it could be a long distance. Um, relationship and look these two are are pretty far apart in like in the spread like I get the feeling that this is a long distance connection mm -hmm. Capricorn what else one more
Eight of emotions, eight of cups. Yeah, this opportunity is going to require you to walk away from this king of pentacles. Hmm. How do you feel about this king of cups? <clears throat> Let's clarify this King of Cups. How do we feel about this King of Cups? How do we feel about this King of Cups? How does Capricorn feel about this King of Cups? Remember that energies can be interchangeable. Oops. Temperance. You feel balanced with this person. You feel emotionally balanced with this person. What else? How does Capricorn feel about the King of Cups? Two of Voices. A decision needs to be made. And then you got the Death card. Scorpionic energy with the death card. It's like change, right? Like you want change. Maybe that's why you want to take this opportunity with this person because you're probably so tired of dealing with this. You're probably tired of dealing with this person, right? And you want to go be with this person because this person makes you happy. Mm -hmm. Clarified by the sun card here. Mm -hmm. And this is somebody that you, this is a person that you've been wishing for. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I want to know what the outcome is or what the most likely outcome. Yeah, it's like you're, this is a karmic situation for you. And what that means is <clears throat> this was meant to happen for you because you were supposed to gain some kind of insight like this marriage that you're in it was supposed to help you gain some kind of insight about yourself okay all right what is the most likely outcome here for capricorn You got the devil in reverse on the bottom of the deck. That's like... <clears throat> it almost... That, when it's in reverse like that, it's kind of like letting go of like attachments, right? Letting go of attachments. And look... So you got the knight of materials in reverse holding on to the opportunity holding on to the offer not making a move and then you got the ace of inspiration in reverse the offer is of a creative nature a very passionate nature love right look at this look at how those two kind of line up right like this plant i don't know if you can see it and that, that's the plant that she's wearing in her head. Look at that. Wow. Look, and the horse is wearing something. In Beautiful. <clears throat> and then you got the Knight of Inspiration in reverse. So it's like either there's no movement or there's slow movement. <sighs> I get the feeling that you're gonna hold yourself back from this connection. <clears throat> you're gonna there's a lot of love there's a lot of fire there's a lot of spark and energy with this connection but you're gonna make the decision to to stay where you are because it's hard it's hard and you you're feeling you're choosing to be stuck right it's hard because you don't want to hurt this person 
that's kind of, that's what I'm getting. You don't want to hurt this person. This is a tough situation, Capricorn, because it's like either way it's gonna it's gonna be painful. Because either way, like on one side of the story, you can stay you can stay with the King of Pentacles, but are you really gonna be happy? You know? They may be stable and you may love them, but if they're not fulfilling your your happiness, then there's something wrong, right? There's something missing. And sometimes we got to make that change. Sometimes we got to, as tough as it is, sometimes you have to come to that realization that maybe this isn't, this isn't for me. You know, maybe I am meant to be with someone else. And which is okay. It's okay. That's the thing is, we're so we're so we're so ingrained in our minds the idea of monogamy and you know one on one relationships, right? That we don't realize the truth of the matter is that all humans are actually capable of loving freely. Our humans are are built to love freely. But it's it's the idea of um what is it? of marriage. I want to say marriage as the sanctity of marriage is is what holds a lot of people back from understanding that. And it's like you can be with somebody but you cannot but it but you're bound to have feelings for other people you know what i mean and that's just the nature of it that's just the nature of our existence like we very interesting yeah so i say even though it looks like you're gonna stay where you are stay put my advice on this kind of situation is follow your heart, you know, follow your happiness. Where does your happiness take you, Capricorn? <sighs> All right, let's close out this reading with another an spirit animal oracle card. Yeah. All right, I hope that I hope that makes sense for you. This sounds like a really tough situation to be in. <clears throat> All right, can we get an advice card for Capricorn moving forward, please? Universe. What advice do we have for Capricorn? What advice do we have for Capricorn moving forward? Oh, got two. So you got the crow spirit. It says co-create with spirit okay and then you got the koi fish spirit which says there is always enough <clears throat> yeah i'm i'm really getting this this sense that you you really need to do your inner work here like this is saying you gotta work with the universe on this one, okay? Do your inner work, meditate, do your inner healing because that's that's the best way that you can work with the universe is by surrendering your spirit to the flow, right? To the flow. And this card is saying there's there's always enough abundance within yourself like I, I'm getting like stop being dependent on these relationships stop being dependent on other people to make you happy because happiness starts with with from within right 
And it's up to you to find that. It's up to you to do your spiritual work, your inner healing to find that. And it's also the saying, there's going to be plenty of fish in the sea. And that goes with like, you know, what we talked about in terms of like loving freely. You know, you think about animals, you think animals take into consider. I mean, there's some animals that take into consideration their life partner, but most animals just, you know, reproduce like nobody's business. <laughs> uh, such a beautiful, beautiful message, Capricorn. I really do hope that you start start doing that inner work because that's what's gonna get you where you need to be. You're gonna find out the more you do this inner work, the more spirit is gonna work with you and things are just gonna unfold naturally for you. Yeah. Anyways, that's all I have for you now, Capricorn. I really hope that this uh, reading resonated with you. If it did, please click the like button down below and uh, subscribe for me. And until next time, I will see you later. Bye.